Have you ever been bored in class or the office, or maybe you just want to learn a new little trick to show somebody? Well, my name is Thomas, and today I'll be showing you how to make a boat that can also work as a paper puppet. All you're going to need is a sheet of paper, copy paper, a pair of scissors, and if you want to add a little extra to the paper puppet, you can get some googly eyes and some glue. So the first step will be making the first fold. You're going to take your paper and fold it hamburger style. If you don't know what hamburger style, that means long ways. So you're going to take both sides, get them to each other, make a clean fold. After that, you're going to open your paper. It should look something somewhat of a book. After that, you're going to find your middle crease and you're going to take each side and fold to that crease. Try to keep your paper as straight as possible so you don't have any mess ups. Do it to this side as well. Get them about to where they're touching. You want it right on that crease. No more, no less. After you make that fold, you're going to open it back up. So it should be three folds in the paper, like so. And you're going to take that initial fold that you did on step one, and you're just going to fold it backwards. Basically reverse the fold. So now that you've reversed the fold, it should look something like this. Now you're going to take each corner for the next step, and you're going to fold it like so, diagonally so that it makes a slanted fold. And you're going to do that to every single corner. Like I said, try to get those folds as clean as possible. You don't want to have a piece sticking out. After you have folded all sides, all corners, you will now move on to the next step, which will, first of all, it'll look somewhat of a trapezoid. Next step will be finding the middle piece of this. You want to find the middle piece of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to not fold it, but you're going to bend it over so that each tip is touching. Find that little right there and just fold the very edge of it. Just pinch it off right about there. So now that you have that, you're gonna find your little pinch where you have the little crease, and you're gonna cut, I'd say about a centimeter, a centimeter or maybe less. Just right there, little slits all you need. And now that you have that little slit and it's cut right there in the middle, you should be able to open it up and it's going to look somewhat of a boat, but not complete just yet. You're going to take where that cut was and you're going to fold up on it. And you're going to make that flap come up. And once you get to the corner of it to where it's folded, it's okay to break that open. Just find that fold and just break it down. And yeah, it's going to rip, but that's okay, because once you finish it, you won't be able to notice that part. You're going to fold this side back. You're going to get each little flap folded down. So this side's folded down, this side's not. And after you fold it, you can just fray those up. Let's get this side. After you've got this side folded down, you're going to break open that edge. So now you can make your clean fold. On this side, you're going to fold the last flap down, just like the rest of them. And bring those back out. So now you have a 
almost a lips to it almost for the puppet part and for the boat that would be the edges of it so after you've made the boat or puppet whichever one you want it to be you can take your glue stick take each individual googly eye put just enough glue on it for one googly eye place your googly eye get your second one put just enough glue on there find the opposite side of it and now that you've added your googly eyes you now have a little paper puppet.